From the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper, this is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello, I'm Chuck Long and welcome to a special edition of Out and About Today. It's our preview of TPAC's 2017-18 blockbuster season, which includes a mix of new and classic Broadway titles, plus a brand new original musical. Joining me with all the details, one of my very favorites, TPAC's Christy Dorch. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Oh, so excited about this season. It is um, a very full season, as you will notice from my cue card, <laughs> so I don't forget anything. Well, you do have a lot going on with it. There's so much to talk about. Reflecting just real briefly on last season, though, mm -hmm. anything surprise you the way that it hit uh, last season? And I know last season is a while ago at it this is. point. But um, I think uh, for me, I think the the thing that kind of stands out in my brain is uh, the real joy and elation we all had from featuring Wayne Kirkpatrick's piece, Something Rotten, at the end of our season. But also, um, you know, Gentleman's Guide was a show that I I just. I went in to see it in New York and was kind of like, okay, let's see, and I fell in love with the show. And by the time it came to Nashville, I'm like, I hope everybody likes this show. <laughs> I hope people come out, and people had a great time. And yeah. so that's always so rewarding when you're like, did I just program that for me, or are people gonna have a good time? Oh. So, it was well, a yeah, great show. Uh, something rotten, I just gotta say. There was such energy in the room, too, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, for the first time out of the gate, I think they got a winner. I yeah. think so. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about 2017-18. We're going to start with something that's really exciting. You guys are doing an original musical. It's called Part of the Plan. Tell me about it. We are. So TPAC is uh, serving multiple roles in this. We are um, presenting, of course, as the Broadway season, but we're also co-producing, which is a brand new thing for us. It's an original musical. Uh, we're starting from the ground up, hiring creatives, building the show. Uh, this is a developmental production that we hope will have legs further past that, but we are really developing for Nashville. Uh, it is an original uh, piece developed with the bedrock of uh, Dan Fogelberg's music. So it's his songs and lyrics, but the story is something a bit different. But it makes you realize that his writing was very much a storyteller, and it weaves together so well the story of, of a young teenager who has to, to give up her son to adoption in the 1950s and the next three decades and how life progresses and the paths you go down and how everything has its rhyme and reason. Okay, and you're using folks from New York and Nashville and LA? We are, so okay. the cast and the band um, is a collective of New York, LA and Nashville and it's a wonderful mixture that's just, um, it's come together quite lovely. Yeah, so just, we saw it the full screen, but just to remind folks of the dates, September 8th to September 24th, so you can be putting those on your calendar as we go through. Now we're gonna go onto a show that I can't wait to see. <laughs> Fun Home, I've heard so much about it. Yeah, it's a great show. So uh, it's uh, a really unique show. We have a, several of them this year uh, that the entire creative team was women that created the show, but it's based on um, Alison Brechtel's uh, best-selling graphic novel. And it's basically the story of Alison through different points in her life and the interactions with her family and beginning to see your family with grown-up eyes. Well, let's take a look at it right yeah, now. We've absolutely. got a little clip of it because uh, we've got, uh, I tell you, so many great shows. We're gonna take a look right now at Fun Home. Caption, my dad and I were exactly alike. I see everything. Caption, my dad and I were nothing alike. Map show you what is simple and true. Try laying out a bird's eye view. Not what he told you, just what you see. What do you know that's not your dad's mythology? Bad foundation, twisting floorboards, shoddy pipes, a gaping hole. It's a lot, it's a lot to keep under control. Some now, you said when you saw Fun Home on Broadway, you saw it in the round. It so was. it's going to be a little bit different on tour. So this is going to be exciting just to see how they stage that. Uh, absolutely. I, I'm very excited myself just to see it again and see how they've restaged it because it's uh, the way the whole concept of the show is you are really looking in on someone's life. It is very much looking inside this this family's life. Okay. Want to make sure people get the uh, dates on this one. Fun home you see on your screen right there, October 10th to October 15th. I tell you, I think a lot of people are going to be going to that one. All right. One that's coming up, um, An American in Paris. We're going to take a little look at it first, too, and then we'll talk about it okay. on the backside. But uh, really excited about this one. So take a look. This is American in Paris. He's mad. Should care for me. 
So American in Paris, I think a lot of nostalgia to that show oh, as well. Yes, and it is it is a postcard to the movie. Um, as a big fan of the movie, I have to kind of separate myself a little bit to, to evaluate it, but it's a beautifully done show, and they um, they created this this film on stage. You're kind of watching it happen again. It's very nostalgic, and they took you know where some might have taken the huge dance sequence out of that show when they put it on stage. Christopher Walden kept it in. And it's just this beautiful, mesmerizing dance sequence. Um, yeah. It's really well done. Well, even as we saw some of the clips as you were talking about it, I mean, it just looks magical. It is. It really does. All right, so on to The King and I. So much to talk about. <laughs> King and I is also a gorgeous looking musical. So let's take a look at it and yep. we'll talk about it, yeah, in just a second. Getting to know you, getting to feel free and easy. And the music in this is, I mean, people just love the songs oh, and the yeah. music, yeah. You, you're going to be hard pressed not to know one or two songs in this and leave humming most of them. But yeah, Lincoln Center, when they uh, did this revival, it's just lavish. That's really the only word I can come up with. It's stunning. And it's, if you think about South Pacific a few years ago that Lincoln Center revived, it's that same sort of brilliance of bringing back a classic in a beautiful way. All right, so mark this on your calendars, January 30th to February 4th, 2018. Now we also want to talk about Cabaret. Um, Cabaret, again, a show that I know so many people are familiar with. Mm -hmm. And it's, to me, it's a good, fun, raunchy time in the theater. So t let's, let's talk about Cabaret. Um, well, I love your choice of the word <laughs> raunchy. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so Cabaret hasn't actually been on our Broadway season since 2001. Uh, so we're really happy to have this revival back because uh, it was under the artistic direction of Sam Mendes and Robert, uh, Rob Marshall uh, through the Roundabout Theater. And it's the revival won Tony Awards for just the reimagining of this classic piece of show. And it's, it, I guess what's interesting to me about Cabaret right now is that the subject matter is still quite relevant. Um, it still will touch everybody as being a relevant talking point. Yeah, and, and I tell you, again, talk about a show with songs you're gonna know, February 27th through March 4th, 2018. So we're already talking 2018. Ugh. Okay, well we are going to take a short break and then we'll be back with our preview of TPAC's huge Broadway season. You're watching Out and About today.